after embarrassing scandals, admitted infidelity and public mudslinging between Prince Charles and Princess Diana in the 90s, Queen Elizabeth II decided that it was best for them to end their marriage. Her Majesty had grown tired of what had become a soap opera over the years and Diana's bombshell panorama interview was the tipping point. They divorced in 1996 and Diana tragically died the following year. By that time the Queen didn't expect her son to still be seeing the woman he cheated on the princess with. Charles though had other ideas and this reportedly caused tension between the monarch and the heir apparent. Queen Elizabeth told Charles to get rid of Camilla. There have been rumblings for years that Queen Elizabeth was very annoyed when she found out that Charles was carrying on an affair with Camilla Parker Bowles while he was still married to Diana. Camilla was even reportedly banned from the palace at one point as well. It's also been claimed that the Queen told her son to dump Camilla after he and Diana divorced. According to royal author Penny Junner, she Queen had been very fond of Camilla in all the years she had been married to Andrew Parker Bowles but it was Camilla who had been responsible, wittingly or not, for all the disasters that had befallen Charles since his marriage. The Queen had wanted her gone before Diana's death and felt no differently after it. Junner added that by 1999, her Majesty's stance about her son's lover remained the same. That didn't mean that more than a year on from Diana's death, she had changed her mind one iota about Camilla. The Queen still wanted her out of her son's life, Junner said. Charles, however, was adamant that his relationship with Camilla was non-negotiable. The Prince didn't budge and eventually, the Queen accepted his choice. In 2005, the Duke asked for his mother's permission to marry Camilla and while she granted his request, there was one thing that was non-negotiable for her. Her Majesty did not attend Charles and Camilla's wedding. On April 9, 2005, Charles and Camilla opted to have a low-key event when they said their vows. The couple wed in a civil ceremony that Queen Elizabeth and her husband, Prince Philip, chose not to attend. The Telegraph noted that as the head of the Church of England, the monarch did not go because she had to put the church ahead of her family's feelings. I am not able to go. I do not feel that my position as supreme governor of the church permits it, she reportedly told a friend. It should be noted that the queen did attend the service of dedication that was held later and played host to a wedding reception for the newlyweds. In the years since their marriage, it is widely believed that Queen Elizabeth has warmed up to Camilla and they get along well now.